Have you ever seen something hit the market that made you think, wow, why didn't I think of that? My point exactly, who didn't think of a blanket with sleeves? Because when I saw this thing, I thought to myself, wow, I actually do have a need for this. I have the issue of constantly wanting to turn a system on while I'm in front of it, not by the thermostat. Why didn't I ever think to just try and rig something up to help me out in an attic? No, I didn't think of it. A guy named Robert Kraft thought of it after he messed up a compressor and just went home and created it. This is the Jumper King made by Trade Fox. Take a look at the case. It's nice and hard on the inside. You've got multiple banana clip leads. They are not that long, but they do do the job. You have multiple alligator clips. This one also always designates your 24 volt and you've got your rest for every other hookup. You have magnetic tips. These are for thermostat or control boards with magnetic terminals. These are wire piercing hooks. You unscrew this, put the wire in, tighten it up, and it actually pierces directly into the wire. This is nice for an air handler that when you don't want to take off the wire nuts. And at the very bottom, you have the tool itself. Now the tool itself comes with a really nice rubber plastic case, magnets on the back, and a hook to hang it with. It's very nice. The magnet does a great job holding it in place so you can focus on the connections inside of the unit. For a furnace, I like to grab the alligator clamps as most of the time, the terminals aren't magnetic. First, we need to send power through the unit with the R switch. Now let's test the fan. Fan works, now let's test the cool cycle. Y'all might not be able to hear it, but the condenser did come on and I can hear the refrigerant flowing through the line set. Last up is a heating cycle. I normally use a basic jumper for this between R and W and my off switch is always just pulling the jumper off. Time for the new school tools. Hey, everything is good, so let's hit the W switch and start the cool down cycle. Sometimes I come across an air handler that's a mess and I would rather not take any other connections apart. The wire piercing tool is essential in my opinion. Since the thermostat controls the fan, let's get that running. Condenser test, but of course the rushing air is too loud for the mic to pick up. Let's give that compressor a rest and check the heat kit. Man, I love it when the contactor doesn't chatter. Let's shut it down and unhook from the wire harness. This attachment is very nice when you are taking the hooks off. They can't ground the unit out and the mark in the wire is so small, there's a 0% chance it is going to short out when you put the door back on the air handler. Plus, I won't end up losing the wire nut if I drop it into the insulation. So what I have here is a cooling and heating circuit, and we're going to use the Jumper King as a thermostat by replacing it and using the metal tips on the actual base plate. Full disclosure, the magnets are not the strongest things in the world. These banana clips actually weigh quite a bit, so it doesn't stick that well on the base plates. But we're going to do it anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send power through the unit. Let's throw on cool, let's throw on heat, go back and forth because it's fun. Honestly, that's just kind of fun. And use R to turn it all off at once. Sometimes you can't help but to love new products when they come out, and this thing is staying in my diagnostic bag. And if you want to check that bag out, click the video right here, and I'll see you there.